Martin Klossel, what would you say, how big is your contribution to the success of Actelion, a firm that has been sold to Johnson Johnson for $30 billion in 2017? So my work has been a scientific work and a medical work um, in that uh, I am completely passionate by research and um, we had the chance to be able to license in the compound which I had discovered in Rush, uh, Traclear, and um, to, I had the chance also to be able to be successful with a team of researchers in the discovery of another compound, Opsumit, which has been very instrumental to the, uh, which has changed a lot uh, of the life of patients with pulmonary hypertension and um, has been a part of the, of the package which uh, Johnson & Johnson has acquired with Actelian. Uh, once a friend if you call it the brain of Actelian, so you must be pretty important. <laughs> it's really a teamwork. There are all kinds of uh, specialties which we have been able to bring together. But I try to be an example, to give really, I think, uh, to be permanently um, there to try to give the direction of research and to, to have really a medical view on what we are trying to discover now. Uh, after selling Actelio in 2017, as I mentioned, uh, you would have had enough money to retire early. But instead, uh, you decided to become the chief scientific officer at the new spin-off Adorsia. Um, so my question is, what is your motivation? I love research. I love what I do. What is fantastic is to do research to try to improve life of patients. And uh, we have been having the luck to be able to make this very innovative deal, which is to uh, accept the acquisition of Actelion by Johnson & Johnson, but also to be able to uh, separate out from that deal uh, uh, research and early development and to restart Idorsia. So that's very motivating and we, we continue research. You always work together with your husband, Sean Paul. You met at university, as I heard. And, but he always took the role as CEO at Actelion, now at, at Adorsia. Um, did you ever consider taking that role? No. <laughs> No, I'm really a scientist and I don't want to be a CEO. I, uh, I am, um, Jean-Paul uh, is uh, very close to research and I'm very happy to continue to do the, the work which we do to find new drugs. Uh, but how does it work? Uh, does he consult you before making important decisions or is he... Or how does it work? Yes, no, no. We, I am, uh, I am, I'm one of the employees. I am part of the management, and um, we are uh, really trying to do the best for the. We have a long-term view, and we we want really to bring new drugs on the market. Um, we have currently four, eleven drugs in development, four drugs which are reaching now phase three, and we would like within the next uh, five years to have several compounds on the market and to be able to, to restart a, a new Actelion. You already mentioned your drugs that you were developing. Uh, which of these do you see as the most promising for the future? I'm very excited about all of them. Of course, some are less advanced, some are more advanced, and we have a lot in research which is um, growing and which we are nurturing. Um, everything is very promising and I hope uh, that we can really bring something important for a rare disease, Fabry disease with Lucerasta, chronic insomnia with Nemorexant and um, the other two drugs which are reaching phase three. I'm very excited about our whole portfolio in reality. When can we expect the first one in the market? Um, within the next five years we want to have more than one on the market.